This video is on estrogen dominance, and I'm doing it because of our weight loss uh, plan, our summer slim down. So estrogen dominance has to do with weight loss and, of course, another host of health problems. So first of all, you don't have to be high in estrogen to have estrogen dominance. Estrogen dominance can be normal estrogen with low progesterone. It can be high estrogen with normal progesterone and high estrogen with low progesterone. So all three are estrogen dominance. So to see it right, you have to see a proper hormonal test and look at symptomatology, see what's going on. Now the symptoms that you can see on yourself of estrogen dominance are like weight gain, lower abdomen. That's a sign of estrogen dominance. Weight gain in the hips and the thighs, also in the breasts and the triceps. When you see that hanging right here, when it hangs down, that's estrogen dominance. So in those patients with weight loss, we want to get that out because they'll lose weight more, efficiency, more efficiently. Now, the causes of estrogen dominance, number one, estrogen replacement. That's going to be one of the big ones. Second big, big one is birth control pills. So the birth control pill will cause estrogen dominance. Thyroid problems can cause it. PCOS, which is polycystic ovary syndrome. Excess carbohydrates in your diet. You know, weight gain is pretty much reflected on carbohydrates and sugar. Uh, not ovulating can cause it. Adrenal problems, skin care. You, ladies, you got to look at your skin care products, what you're putting on your skin. Because you might be putting endocrine disruptors that disrupt your hormonal system. And you might be putting on carcinogens. Call us if you want to know what's in your skincare products. Because, you know, treat those labels on those skincare products like it's life and death. Because it is. Uh, also, BPA from like water bottles, pesticides are also can cause estrogen dominance. Now, some of the other symptoms besides what I mentioned in the stomach and the hips are, you know, if you get bloating, uh, decreased libido in women, depression and anxiety, fatigue, headaches, uh, heavy menstrual cycles. We see a lot of that. Insomnia. We see a lot of that. Mood swings, panic attacks, swollen breasts, uterine fibroids. Uh, can be a cause water retention. Now in men, it's real simple. Erectile dysfunction can be estrogen dominance. Belly fat when you have that little pooch out there. Mood changes in men. And excess fat in the chest where they get what they call man boobs. And so the only way I've ever found to get those down besides surgery is use a proper nutrition to clear the estrogen pathways and get the estrogen out of the body and then they can shrink down many times, most of the time. So okay, that's on estrogen dominance. Join us for our summer slim down because we are going to see a lot of weight loss during that time. Thanks and make it a great day.